everyone and welcome to this episode of Wolfpack on Wheels. Today we're going for a ride with head coach of women's soccer, Mark Pennington. So how are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent, thank you. Oh good. How did you get into soccer? Out of all the sports, why do you play soccer? Well, I'm from England, so there's not all the sports. Fair. We basically, if you don't, if you don't play soccer as a child in England, your parents disown you. What? <laughs> not quite, but <laughs> I think it's it's just one of those things where uh, you know it's it the culture is, is very soccer oriented. Yeah. So it's soccer, rugby, cricket. Uh, that's the way you have to catch a ball with your hands. You don't have a big glove to help right. you. Yes, yes. I don't know whether to call it soccer or football because like, I like right. whatever. Yeah, that must be a quite the internal challenge for you. Well, if I say soccer back at home, everyone's like, oh my God, soccer, <laughs> man. That's like, whatever. When did you first move to Canada? Um, I, I was actually trying to do the math the other day, but somebody asked me, I think it, it must be coming up to 16 years now, but yeah, it's been, it's, it's, fly, it's flown by pretty quick, yeah. That's awesome. What were some of your first impressions when you arrived? Of Canada? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, the, the first and most lasting impression when I first got here, uh, I was doing some coaching work over on the island and the guy that we were staying with, I'd been here less than a week and he came and picked us up and we were driving up to, um, we were going up island to Nanaimo. Okay. He was a young guy and he's like, you know, have you been out in in Victoria and I said no not really we haven't we've just we've only been here a very a very short time and he yeah. said oh the you know the music scene's really good and the you know the the youth of you know the, all the young people listen to all the cool hip music actually I got some of the music right here and he put a CD on yeah and I was with another guy that came with me initially from England and we looked at each other and we were in complete shock going what have we done <laughs> and it was stomping Tom Connors what and so he said, oh, this is what they're listening to in all, of, in all the fancy bars and nightclubs with all the young people. And it was like, what year was that? You might think it's goofy, but the man in the moon is a new fee. <laughs> and he's sailing on to glory away in the golden dory. It was great. I loved it. That was we, really well done. Yeah, we, we became big stomping Tom fans after that. Hey, 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 hey. Big Joe Muffera paddled into Badawa all the way from Ottawa in just one day. Hey, hey. When I'm done my show, you can do yours, eh? What, uh, what's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? The weirdest thing I've ever eaten? Oh, um, I've had kangaroo. That's kind no of weird. No way! Yeah. Have you been to Australia? No. <laughs> well, then where did you eat a kangaroo? I didn't eat a kangaroo. Oh. I had some kangaroo. Okay, I didn't eat the whole where, thing. Where did you do that? Uh, there was a restaurant in Vancouver that used to serve alligator and kangaroo and weird stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably one of the weirdest things. Yeah. My brother's cooking is probably pretty weird too. Oh, really? Yeah. What kind of things does he make? Well, they're supposed to be normal. They just don't <laughs> come out that way. What are you most looking forward to in the upcoming season? Um, it's a good question. I mean, I'm really looking forward to st basically starting to you know, make my own mark on the team and yeah. starting to see them change the way they play and, you know, hopefully changing the mentality a bit to, you know, to, to get a bunch of success. And mm -hmm. yeah, and you know, from my, my time with the players so far, it's been, it's been really positive. Yeah, it's, they're, they're, they're a good group. Super, super focused and committed. So, awesome. and as a coach, it's kind of all you can really ask for. You know, if, if the players want to be there and they want to learn, that's yeah. great. Well, thank you so much for coming for a ride. Hey, thanks for with driving me around Kamloops. That was like a good little sightseeing tour. Anytime. I I actually heard that if you were to bite a carrot, like you were to bite your pinky. You could do it. You could bite through a pinky like a baby carrot. <laughs> Isn't that such a weird fact? What have, what have you been reading? I don't know. I just, I, I feel like I've Hope noticed. none of this is going in the interview. <laughs> talking about biting fingers off. 